I think we all hate that guilty feeling that we get whenever we're procrastinating on something that we know that we should be doing and it prevents us from even enjoying things that we normally would like hanging out with our friends or watching a movie because we're constantly in the back of our mind thinking I should probably be doing something else. And usually around 30 days before the end of the semester, I start remembering, oh, I have to prepare for finals, I have to do so many things before the end of the semester, and then I start making a glorious plan where I write down all of the things that my ideal perfect self would do, and how I'm going to prepare this time for all of my finals in advance. So as we write down our plans and write down all of the things that we want to get done, we get more and more and more excited about how we're finally going to not procrastinate this time and get our life together and everything's going to be different from last year and we get all pumped up and motivated and finish our plan put it on our desk and then the following morning we're supposed to wake up and perfectly follow the schedule or plan and get everything done. And then what normally happens is we end up doing the bare minimum of the things that were anyways supposed to be done because they had deadlines and then almost none of the extra things we were supposed to do actually got done and then we start the cycle again, we feel all guilty, we want to make a new plan that has all of the things we want to get done again and then we throw it away again because ultimately it didn't work. And after the first several failed attempts of scheduling, we start trying to motivate ourselves, watch motivational videos, maybe even read some self-help book. But the truth is that's just also procrastination because it usually lasts a few hours and we just get started on doing something, but the motivation wears off really quickly and we're back feeling like we don't feel like doing anything. And then we realize the semester is almost over, finals are looming, and we start cramming, we start stressing, pulling all-nighters, and finishing our semester in the most stressful way possible. If this situation sounds at all familiar to you, then hopefully these tips can be helpful. So in my experience, the first step to stopping procrastination is figuring out the cause of your procrastination. And I used to think that it was I'm addicted to social media or I just like watching movies too much or hanging out with my friends or just doing random things that I shouldn't be doing instead of studying. But even when I eliminated the biggest time suckers like watching Netflix or, or social media, I noticed that my procrastination was just as bad, but I was instead doing things that were you could consider good, like checking my email, organizing my files, cleaning and organizing my room, exercising more, and obviously all of those things are a lot better than just spending time on social media, but I also noticed that I was using them as a form of procrastination, and you might have the same experience where you could be reading nonfiction books, but they're not related to what you should be doing, and you still have that guilty little feeling in the back of your mind, I probably should be studying instead of doing XYZ. So so it seems like the answer is actually not what we do, but actually what's causing the procrastination, which is a little bit deeper. And after digging into my head for quite a while, I realized that all of my procrastination was just coming from fears. So this part requires a little bit of self-evaluation and noticing your own habits, but I noticed that in the classes that I felt really comfortable with and good about, I never really procrastinated, all of my assignments were on time, I was already well prepared for the exam beforehand, but for classes I was really struggling with, like calculus or or physics, I would always end up procrastinating on the assignments and avoiding them and freaking out about the tests. And I would also procrastinate when I felt like I had too many things on my plate. So I had way too many assignments, projects, and exams in one week. And then another source of procrastination that actually isn't my own, but I've noticed in other people is perfectionism. And pretty much just when you're doing a project assignment and you feel like if every little component isn't absolutely perfect, then you can't move on to the next component because otherwise you're going to fail and the project or assignment won't be good enough. So you spend hours and hours and hours doing one part of the assignment and then still having the other parts not not ready and then you have to frantically finish the assignment and it's not nearly as good as it could have been if you had just gone over everything and spread your time out. In my experience, we tend to procrastinate on things that we fear we will fail 
or that are just very seemingly hard in our head. Our brain tends to make things seem a lot worse than they actually are and you might have had the same experience where you've really stressed out about something and then after getting it done or studying it a lot then you realized oh wow I actually don't really hate this or it's a lot easier than I thought it would be. And, and I always find it really interesting how our brain just manages to make everything that we kind of feel uncomfortable with seem so much worse than it actually is. And if you just recognize that your brain is playing tricks on you, then you're a lot closer already to figuring out how to stop your procrastination. So once we've become aware that our problem is actually our fears of, and when we're dreading something, also that realization that we're dreading it because we're scared of it for whatever reason, maybe we think it's too hard or it's just going to be super long and tedious and boring. And while all of that is great, it's still not enough to stop the procrastination. So unfortunately, the only way to actually stop procrastinating is not planning, it's not scheduling, it's not even watching motivational videos, it's actually just doing whatever you dread the most. And I know that sounds pretty obvious, but it actually makes a lot more sense if you just think about it because the truth is we only get motivation after we've already been doing something for a bit of time and we see the finish line and we already feel more comfortable with whatever it is. The beginning, before we actually start doing it, it seems a lot worse than it actually is and we don't know what we're doing. We don't really know how we're going to answer the questions, but as we start doing it, more and more and more our brain starts focusing on it we start getting more comfortable with it we start figuring things out and that's when we start getting the motivation to continue doing it and then ultimately finish whatever it is you're supposed to be doing so the more you do something the less you fear it and the less you procrastinate on it so once you've gotten done with your most burning assignments that you've procrastinated on already and have deadlines the first step is to make a list of the things that you dread the most so it can be things like final exams that you dread to a big project and just go by your gut feeling of how disgusted you feel about that certain assignment or project or test. And the top one, number one, should be the thing you dread the most and the last one should be the ones that you dread the least and could be done a little bit later or you think will take a lot less time and energy. And then after that, you need to just break down the biggest, most dreadful tasks into little tiny bite-sized steps. And obviously when you're preparing for tests, the steps will be different than just answering questions on an assignment. And once you've written it out, then all you need to do is sit down and get started and the part of sitting down and just getting started is the most difficult part because as procrastinators that is exactly the thing that we avoid the most so some ways to trick your brain and just make yourself start doing something is to use things like the pomodoro method or a reward system so for instance instead of telling yourself i have to do this many pages or things then just say i need to do as much as i can in five pomodoros and don't worry about how much you're gonna get done or how overwhelming the whole study process is going to be and just focus on how much can I get done in this amount of Pomodoros and also give yourself those five minute breaks to just relax, unwind, go on social media. Another method is to use a reward system. So as you go down your bullet point list and you also need to be honest with yourself so that you don't make each bullet point be super easy to finish, but for instance, if you do five bullet points, then you get to watch something or hang out with your friends or go on social media for 20 minutes. But all of these methods help you focus more on actually what you have to be doing right now and the first steps rather than how many steps you have to take before you finish whatever it is that you hate and dread the most. And as you start taking those baby steps and slowly crossing things off, the more that you do, the better you feel about it and the less you're going to procrastinate on it. And at the end of the day when you still have to do those menial tasks like check your emails you'll actually feel a lot better because you've done the things that you fear or procrastinated on the most and then you can already do the menial things when you're already more tired and don't really have much energy and that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful this is personally how i stopped my procrastination cycle and it's helped me so much 
getting things done early and not procrastinating on assignments or projects or anything like that. So I wish you all the best of luck on your finals and exams and everything that you have to do so you can do it and you can beat this procrastination cycle if you have it and yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, giveaway information is here, and bye!